As I mentioned, business profits of a resident in the other country are taxable only in a treaty country where the person has a permanent establishment, or PE, in that treaty country. Almost all of our treaties define PE, and most of them define it the same way. A PE is a fixed place of business. These are three separate components, and we'll talk about each. The treaties almost always include specific things that are always considered a PE and have certain things that are not in themselves considered a PE. Common inclusions are offices and warehouses if there's business done there. Common exclusions are administrative or research offices where no business is done. Some treaties deem there to be a PE if certain activities are conducted in the country for a certain length of time. Often, a construction site, even a temporary trailer, is a PE if the construction lasts more than a year or some other period. Always read the treaty. The first key element of PE is that there be something fixed. This means that it doesn't move around. Not necessarily that it's anchored to the ground. Fixed means there is some degree of permanence beyond a few months. That's per the permanent in permanent establishment. For something to be fixed, it can merely be something that is assigned to the taxpayer for its regular use, like a particular stall in the market or a particular office in a building. Note that fixed doesn't mean fixture in the legal sense or involve real property in a tax sense. Something could be fixed even though it's personal property that can be moved. A wheeled kiosk in a mall with an assigned location that plugs into an electrical outlet in the floor can be fixed. The second key element to PE is that the fixed location must have some identifiable situs or place. It must have a defined physical location. If you rent rights to have your food truck at the mall but can park it anywhere you want, that's likely not a place. If your affiliate assigns your salesman to a particular office, though, that is a fixed place. And if that salesman does any sales from that office, you're doing business and have a PE. You mean fixed and place refer to different concepts? Sounds like they overlap. No, they're different concepts. Rewind to the first of this part and make sure you understand. Here's the third key element. Business must be conducted through this fixed place. Business means revenue generating activities or activities designed to generate revenues. Any revenues, even a little bit, even revenues that haven't happened yet. But if there's no revenue generating activity, if all of the activities are something else, then it's not a place of business and not a PE. It's a long-standing principle of common law, and thus U.S. law, that the activities of an agent are attributed to the principle. Treaties have the same sort of rule, but with some significant limitations. They treat activities of an agent as attributable, attributable to the principle only if three conditions are met. First, the agent must be a dependent agent. Second, the activities must be regularly and habitually exercised by the agent. And third, the activity must be in the name of and for the account of the principal. All these three conditions must exist or the agent's activities are not attributed. Well, at least under most treaties.
read the treaty. Not only can the activities be attributed, but the permanent establishment can be attributed. Thus, if your agent has an office in the country, you have an office in the country. So what's a dependent agent? It's one who is dependent on the principal for most of its livelihood. Someone who is economically dependent. Ownership itself does not create a dependent agent. But if an agent is an exclusive agent for only one principal, then that agent is dependent even if someone else owns it. An individual can be an agent. An employee is almost always an agent. A company can avoid this agency problem by simply not having someone act as their agent. Here's the second quiz.